All right. Hello, third grade. Welcome back. This is um, our study guide and review. Last week you should have worked on this, um, and this is just a quick recording to go over the answers. If you haven't done so already, grab your end of unit test. Um, it says end of unit test, but it's really a study guide and review on structure and function, and we're going to go over it now. So, starting with question number one, what does this animal probably eat? This animal right here. They give you a picture of a skull. Um, and let's see, it has horns, kind of a longer piece in the front. I see flat teeth in the back. I would say that this animal probably eats plants. It has flat molars for grinding. It looks like a deer or an antelope. So probably an herbivore eats plants, fruits, things like that. All right, let's take a look at question number two. What does this bird probably eat? Hmm. Looks pretty fierce to me, and he's got a really sharp hooked beak. I would say that this bird probably eats meat. He's got that sharp hooked beak used for tearing up food. Um, so I'm gonna keep going through this. If I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video and record your answers. Um, I would like this turned into me um, as soon as you can, but um, here we go. We're gonna keep on cooking. All right, there is a passage here. And it says, owls are birds that usually hunt at night. They have large eyes. Their eyes let them see in the dark. They have very good hearing. Owls can hear mice moving. Owls have special feathers on their wings. The feathers let the owls fly without making any noise. The owl hears a mouse. It swoops down to grab the mouse. The mouse doesn't hear the owl. So the question is, why doesn't the mouse hear the owl? And they told us right here in this passage, he doesn't hear him because the owl has specialized feathers to let the owl fly without making any noises. It can swoop down silently and grab the mouse. So as long as your answer is something like that, something about the special feathers, um, that would be correct. Question number two says, owls are good night hunters because... And I said, because they have large eyes that let them see in the dark, excellent hearing, and silent feathers. So pretty cool. All right, take a second to get your answers organized. Um, question number five, this is not based on the passage, it's just a question about um, adaptations. How does camouflage help an animal survive? So you guys are very familiar with camouflage, you should all know this one. It helps it blend into its surroundings to hide from its predators. Um, anything like that would be acceptable. The next question says, list three plants that have flowers. So you could have listed any three types of plants that have flowers. So I just have three of my own. I said a cactus, because they can have flowers, dandelion, and tulips, my favorite. <laughs> All right, moving on. That was question number six. All right, next page, we're gonna flip on over to the back. And this says, um, what are two differences between a pine tree and a maple tree? Pine tree and a maple tree. So pine trees are evergreen trees. They have needles um, as their leaves. They're considered coniferous trees. You could have also said, you know, they're green all year round um, or they're needles. Needles are their leaves, even though they don't look like a regular leaf, as you might think. But um, you might say that their leaves stay on the tree all year round, anything like that. Um, maple trees, the leaves fall off to prepare um, for winter. They're considered deciduous trees. They have broad leaves that change color. Could have said anything like that, like changing, they change from green to yellow to orange to red and then fall off. Um, anything like that. Let's see. Um, number eight. Why do cacti have spines instead of leaves? All right, so we should be pretty familiar with this. I mean, we've got lots of cactus here in the desert. Why do you think cactuses have spines instead of leaves? Um, for sure to conserve water, and I put also protect from predators. Any other answer that you had that made sense would be acceptable. All right, number nine. How are a duck, how are a dog and a duck the same? Okay, you're probably thinking that's a little bit random, but let's, uh, let's go for it. I put, they're both living animals. They're both warm-blooded. Remember, we talked about classifying. And they can live in similar climates. And by that, I mean um, 
you know, ducks can be found in, in warmer places. So can dogs. Um, ducks can be found in colder places. So can dogs. Um, how are a duck and a dog different? This may be a little bit easier to answer um, than the other one. Dogs, of course, are mammals, um, meaning they have live babies and their babies are called puppies. And dogs produce milk. A duck, of course, is not a mammal, it's a bird. And they lay eggs. They feed their babies small bits of food when they're born. Ducks don't give their babies milk. All right, moving on. So classifying, let's classify the following plants. Write each name in the correct circle. So we've got a whole list of plants right here. Let's see, we've got some with seeds, flowers, and trees. So for seeds, I put acorn, wheat, and oats. Flowers, rose, daisy, and tulip. And tree, I put a pine tree and a fir tree. Cool. All right, go ahead, make sure you're checking your answers, filling it in. Okay, we're on the other side. Again, this is not a test, this is considered a review. All right, so question number one is about types of teeth. Molars are best for chewing, right? Those molars are the teeth in the back of your mouth. The bigger, flatter ones are used for chewing. Okay, incisors, those are your four front teeth on the top, four on the bottom, and those are best for biting. And this one I actually like had to think about a little bit because I was thinking, you know, they do bite into something, but then they could be used to tear or rip it. Um, but the correct answer for that, the, the first and initial purpose of your incisors are for biting. All right. So people have teeth that are different shapes because why? So think about it. Your front teeth are shaped differently than your back teeth and then those canine teeth. And kind of some silly answers. Most people eat junk food, okay, maybe, but that's not why we have different teeth. Um, most people eat plants and meat. Yeah, that's true. Most people have nice smiles. Most people go to the dentist. Okay, those are just ridiculous, silly answers. The correct one was most people eat plants and meat. All right, let's keep on going. All right, the next one says... Which bird has talons? So talons are those sharp claws. And out of those, I would say the eagle is the one with talons. Okay, um, what does this bird eat? Take a look at that bird there. Looks like a pelican. He's gonna eat fish, right? He scoops it up in his big bucket beak and then swallows them. Number six, all right, we've got a passage here. So read it in the answer. Hummingbirds are the smallest bird. Kind of a fun fact there. The smallest is only two and a half inches long. The hummingbird is the only bird that can fly backwards. It flies up to a flower. It uses its long beak and tongue to get nectar. Then it backs up and goes to the next flower. Hummingbirds legs are not strong. They cannot walk or hop. Hummingbirds have to fly everywhere. Hmm, pretty cool. Um, so hummingbirds are the only birds that can fly backwards. The correct answer is fly backwards. It even tells us here, hummingbirds the only bird that can fly backwards. And hummingbirds have legs that are very weak, right? Have talons, okay. Can you imagine a hummingbird with talons? No, swimming, grabbing insects, no. All right, so hummingbirds have legs that are, last one, very weak. Hey guys, we're almost done. Let's flip to the back side of this. All right. Which of the following has cones? Cones, so like a little pine cone. The correct answer would be pine tree. Of course, pine cones, pine tree. All right, which of the following uses camouflage to hide from predators? Hmm. For this one, I picked the horned toad. That's that kind of lizard. Um, friend Abby has one of those. Um, and that's a little tricky because zebras, their type of um, camouflage, they're herding, they're in groups, and they kind of blend all together, make it confusing for a single one. But um, the animal that would use camouflage to hide from predators would be the horned toad. All right, number 10, which of the following plants do not have flowers? And the correct answer would be pine trees, 
right? Pine trees don't have flowers. That could have been something you put on that other question um, about pines and maples on the other page. Um, pine trees do not have flowers. And let's see, we're gonna classify the plants here. Okay. All right, for plants with leaves, we have the oak and the cottonwood, needles, the spruce and pinon, and spines, the barrel cactus, saguaro, and prickly pear. Okay, and last but not least, classify the falling animals. This one was super easy. Hope everyone got this. All right, for wings, of course, the eagle, the owl, and the robin, all types of birds. Fins, a shark, and a trout. And four legs, cow, bison, and giraffe. All right, so I hope you guys are all doing good, and this was a quick and easy review. Please make sure you send it over to me in an email, or um, you can send it to the school email. Um, but I hope you're all doing good, and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye.